super secretive, so it must be difficult yeah. to audition. Very. So I was actually in Toronto shooting the Pretty Hard Cases show, and I get this audition, and it doesn't really say what it's for. And normally they tell you what it's for, and they'll give you a drawing of the character, a character description, um, sometimes a show bible about the world, and um, sides, which is a portion of the script that you read for this audition. And the more information you get as the actor, the more you can put into your performance. Like if you know your character has braces or is from England, like you want to read all these things so that you're paying attention to what they're looking for. It's actually like you have to use your brain. I know people think that I don't, but I do have to use my brain. Every day. I audition every single day. Yeah, that's another thing I don't think everyone understands. Like, about can you believe they don't just give me everything at this point? I'm shocked. <laughs> Can you just like show them your Wikipedia page and say, hello? Hello, have you met me? Um, Do a yeah. Shelly Winters and put two your, your, your awards in front of them. I'm too weak, kind of. Anyway, so I get this audition. I don't know what it's for. And they, they weren't sure in the stage directions if this character was sentient or not. And I do like a lot of like Siri type voices. I don't know if you guys saw me as the singing refrigerator on uh, Modern Family. <laughs> I was a singing refrigerator. Thank you. Thank you to the one person that saw me. I, saw, I saw it. I didn't know. It <laughs> anyway, I like doing that. Like I'll do auditions where I'll be like, you know, you have five seconds to evacuate. Five, four, and people are like, did you do that or did you do something? And I'm like, no, I'm just doing that. So I like doing that. <laughs> so they weren't sure how like robotic or sentient she was going to be. So I did like three different versions, and one of them having an accent. And I think they went with the accent because it's. It's such a hilarious spin that she's so cute, and her voice is so cute. And like, hey y'all, like that's synonymous with y'all come back now, like comfort. But she's telling you if you don't do what I say, you can die, <laughs> right? So it's kind of funny that she's saying all this it's terrifying always, stuff as an adorable clock. And it's <laughs> also very retro because yeah. it's, it's very 50s, even the the sets and everything. You don't know the I love time. like how they Kate. Harrington and everyone. I, I just love how they designed it. It's so, so beautiful. But I didn't really know what it was until I booked it. And I was, I was on the Zoom with um, the team from the Marvel Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Zoom people. Um, and they explained it to me. I'm like, oh my god. And then I, they've already shot everything. So I'm looking at the footage of Tom Hiddleston talking to like a paper or something or other. He didn't know it was going to be my voice at that time. So hopefully this season I get to like be there. To like read off camera or maybe maybe on camera. Is Some motion kind of capture. Woo! Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I know she's coming back for sure, but I don't. I don't. I really don't know anything else. So since you don't know anything else, this is great. We can actually answer his question. What do you want her to be like? Do you want? I to want it to be me. <laughs> you want? You want like when they made the TARDIS a human person? They want it was you. Yes, yeah, so, so, right? Don't yeah. you think that'd be so fun? Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Okay. So you want this to become a real girl. This girl, yes. Yeah, that's, that's the real part. Yeah. <laughs> um, 